What? Oh crap. Oh no. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh god. Oh hey, that's a cool. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> How come anyone else can walk into the gym and it's like no big deal? I walk into the gym and everyone panics. Everything gets quiet. Everyone gets quiet. Everything. Everyone. Oh God. You made you feel special, right? Yeah, like I stole something. <laughs> I committed a crime. I You're felt stealing me. all the gains. That's stealing the all the gains. Gains thief. <laughs> Motivation. Found your what? Your motivation. <laughs> Chloe Kardashian. I saw pictures of her. She's <laughs> she's watching, she's I know, I know. She's <laughs> that's, your, that's your motivation? Who that? Which one's Chloe? I have <laughs> no idea. No, no. She's the one that's with the drug head. With the drug head. Uh, Lamar, the dude that just overdosed on Viagra. It's cocaine. Overdosed on Viagra? How do you do that? He took um, like 10 people supplements to the love branch and then he took and used cocaine and then. So it was probably booger sugar that that, 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 that did it. Not, not so much in the Viagra. I don't. I mean, I'm no pharmacist. I'm no doctor, but I'm thinking like, dude, <laughs> we gotta find you a better motivation. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just can't stand by. Let that be your motivation. I could understand not wanting to be like them. <laughs> One moment you're like, hey, I want to look like Kardashian. The next minute. You might be ODing in the hospital. No. <laughs> you never know. You might, you might set a trend. You might start no. following them, and then all of a sudden you're just like, hey, she did it. <laughs> so, but it got you here today. That's good. As long as you're here. Yeah. As long as you're here, you're doing it. Uh. We're all here. We're doing it. I'm training legs today. That'll get you through leg day. What is going on, you little jerks? Happy Sweetest Day to all the sweethearts <laughs> out there. You know, I like Sweetest Day. Sweetest Day is my favorite Hallmark holiday. The reason for that is because usually no one ever remembers it. Now, Valentine's Day, everyone remembers Valentine's Day. And I don't celebrate Valentine's Day, <laughs> but I'll celebrate Sweetest Day. And I have this theory, I have nothing to back this up, it's just like superstition. Like, if you celebrate Valentine's Day, then your relationship ends up in the fucking trash. <laughs> I guess because it's like, you've probably heard of a, of a spring fling. Well, there's something called a winter cling as well. It usually happens like during this time of year. There are around Sweetest Day where you find somebody, you meet somebody, and you kind of like just kind of date, you hold on to them throughout the winter. It's weird. Like if you, you probably notice it if you're old enough to, if you're old enough, you probably notice it that people tend to like pair up when the fall, you know, comes around before winter and then spring comes along and they usually split off and do their own 
fucking thing. At least I've noticed it anyway. Me and my buddy were actually talked about this a while ago. So Sweetest Day kind of marks that initial getting together. And for me, in my mind, Valentine's Day, you know, because that's kind of like around when the weather starts to break a little bit in February. That kind of marks the death of the relationship. It's like the last hoorah before we just say fuck it. I have nothing to back this up on. It's just, it's just how I feel about it. However, Sweetest Day is dope. So those who have a sweetheart, do something nice. I hope you did something nice, I should say, because by the time you see this, it won't be Sweetest Day anymore. Myself, to celebrate Sweetest Day, since I don't have a sweetheart, I am going to make sure I don't freeze to death this winter. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna celebrate. See, I live in this house, built in the year 1900, like 1900. It's over 100 years old. The insulation in the house is, there basically is no insulation in the house. It is a fucking freezer in there right now. It is frigid, it's that way every winter, and I've tried numerous different things every year to try to keep it warm in there. I've tried the plastic wrap the window thing. I mean, there's been so many things that I've tried. Like, if I don't do anything, and I run the heat, and I have it just at 60 degrees, and that's like minimum, you know, just to keep the fucking pipes from freezing, so to speak, my bill is going to be $500, if not more. My, my consumer bill, my energy bill, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Now, if I shrink wrap the windows, put the plastic stuff on the windows that you can buy, it knocks it down to about $300. If it's at 60. Now mind you, when it when I have the heat at 60 and the windows are wrapped and all that shit, it's still freezing in there. I gotta wear like four fucking hoodies and like two pairs of pants, three pairs of socks. I always have my shoes on. It's ridiculous. It's a pain in the ass every winter. Like, I'm not a rich person. I don't have $500 to be just shelling out extra month. Fuck that. But if you've been following me on Instagram for a while, you may have seen uh, last year, last winter, where I posted a clip of me basically skating inside. I got bored. It was cold. It was snow outside. So I had some plywood in the basement that I brought up and I set it up to where I could basically do tricks on my couch. <laughs> anyway, so after I got done skating in the house I didn't want to carry the plywood back to the basement so I just kind of propped it up against the wall which eventually ended up covering the door my front door and I noticed when I did that my heating bill went down drastically so it gave me the idea to say fuck it I'm gonna go ahead and board up the window but I'm actually in the process of doing it now I just went and trained legs again it's the little lightweight week keeping the weight fucking light but anyways so I'm going back home to fit off, going back home to eat a post-workout meal. Then I'm going to finish that project. So mission today, prevent AJ from freezing to death this winter. That's how I'm celebrating Sweetest Day. Hell yeah. Come on, let's go!